What's up guys? We're out for another adventure and uh, gonna play in the creek today. Let me show you what we've got going on. All right, so we're on a private property and we're gonna do some dredging. Got Josh up there, got Kevin right here. Kevin's running his new four inch pro line. I've got my three right there and Josh is running the new and improved two. So uh, the water's really bad cloudy. It was really bad flood stage yesterday and last night. So it's pretty brown this morning, but we're gonna try it and see what we can do. Stay tuned. All right, so we got Josh running Kevin's full inch throw line. Giving her a go, see how it's going. Water is awful brown. You can't see 12 inches in the water. Uh, but yeah, we're giving her a go. Uh, we found pretty good gold right here, test painting before the storm. So we're hoping it just drops. But we'll see. Um, Kevin taking a break. I'm around the corner back here. Let me take you around there. So there's my three inch. I'm uh, working on bedrock that's cutting across the river right here. See what I can pick up. Like I say, you can't see a thing in this water. It's, it's pretty bad. Josh is tubing sitting up here. Uh, Kevin got a little warm, so we got him up and running, and he's trying to cool off and take a break. It is brutal hot. So we dredged here for about a couple hours testing this out um, about a month ago. And uh, I was right here. There's a big hunk of uh, exposed bedrock here and it was diving down into the river and I was working that. And found a little bit of gold, but it wasn't too much. Joshua was just behind me right here in this shady, uh, sunny spot and did well. He found a picker and some, uh, some fine gold and uh, yeah, since then the river has changed a ton. Um, we wanted to be down there. Those were our best pans, but the white water down there is so bad and the current is so strong. If we get down there, we ain't gonna get back and they're calling for more storms tonight. So we just opted to work up here and see what we can do up here. So this is my homemade three inch. It's basically got a Proline uh, clone sluice box that I built. It's kind of a Frankenstein. It's got a keen flare on it, keen jet, um, homemade floats, and it's got a trash pump on it. You know, it's not ideal, but it does work. Dredge has been running pretty good. Um, I know I got a little bit of white water there, but I've got a, a, a wave tray in the front, and I exaggerated more like a Darby riffle. So any fine gold should be protected under that riffle and uh, keep it from blowing out the back. I'm hoping. First run I've, since I've made all the uh, modifications on it. Um, this is the new frame I built for the two inch. The two inch was catching mad gold last time and it was super small stuff. This thing has always caught good gold and caught super fine gold. Um, very, very well set up box. Looks terrible, but it works great. But the frame was really bad. It was steel. I made it out of rebar and scraps that I had, so this last uh, last week or so, I upgraded it and made it an all aluminum frame. And uh, cause it wasn't very stable before. Now it's stable, floats great, and I know it catches gold great, but we're uh, we're trying to give uh, Kevin's four inch a good test. So we'll see how we do here in a little bit. Yeah, so it is like, I don't know, it's a good 90 degrees today and uh, it's brutal hot, especially in a wetsuit. So trying to stay in the water more than out but uh keep having rock jams a lot of angular rock right here and causes a lot of jams on you so but we're giving her a good go uh the creek is still uh probably two feet over normal from you know normal flow rate so it's hard to stay on the bottom without a weight belt and uh you know you can't see anything so it is what it is all right so we're refueling gas uh, Kevin and Josh moved over here. They're working right behind there. About where Josh was at last trip. I moved over. I've been all through here, back and forth. Went over to just about where, right in there. I'm in here right now, busting up bedrock, decomposing bedrock, and it's just crumbling. Beautiful stuff in it, so we're hoping we're putting some gold in the box. Sucking up some bird shot and everything, so good possibility. The uh, property owner came out, 
talk to us. We put them on the end of a four inch. That was pretty fun. So yeah, we'll see how we do. Let them kinda go. So this is what happens when it rains and you're uh, trying to do some gold prospecting and it's pouring outside and you're trapped up in a camper. Tough, isn't it, Josh? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> all right, so we're stuck in the camper and we don't know how we did today at all. Um, I didn't feel much because you can't see anything underwater when the water's brown. And uh, we dredged for a few hours and then get a, got hit by a massive thunderstorm and uh, actually got drowned getting into the truck, trying to get all our stuff back, to, back in the truck before we got washed away. So uh, we have to wait and do the cleanups tomorrow and try to get an idea what we're on or not. Uh, yet to be determined, but yeah, we uh, we were facing some really, really high water from all these storms and wasn't sure we were gonna get to go anywhere. We're trying to find different properties to go to and you know, some other possibility. And uh, we just gave that one a shot and the water was high, but it was still manageable. But uh, yeah, couldn't see your hand in front of your face in the water, so. Let's see how we did tomorrow. All right, so it's actually a week later. The last time uh, we came out, uh, we dredged for, I think, a couple hours Saturday. Huge horn storm hit that night, rained all day Sunday, and we couldn't get out into the creeks anywhere. So we packed up and headed home. I was still kind of aggravated with my dredge. I couldn't get it to uh, run right as far as flow. And you know, I was either blowing gold out or there were riffles were stacking up and you know just couldn't catch anything so my take was minimal like 12 specs in hours went home did some redesigning on the dredge changed the riffles a little bit changed the uh damper mat so hopefully i got that ironed out uh, i'm waiting for kevin to show up now and uh we're gonna hit it today just did a day trip hit it for a few hours and see how we do mainly so i can test out this dredge and see if i've Improved the situation, made it worse, or no change at all. So, we'll see. But uh, the water is way down. You can actually see um, it's really, really overcast. They're not calling for any rain, but it is bad overcast. So, get down fairly deep, it's gonna be hard to see. But hopefully, um, I can actually get some underwater footage and show you what's, what's going on. Um, Kevin did find some chunkier stuff where we were, and it's not where we wanted to be, but given the water flow because it was still two feet higher than normal uh the day we were here so given the water flow we were scared to chance going where we wanted to knowing that you know there was a pending storm you know coming in that afternoon and literally before we got the dredges back to the trailer the bottom fell out and it was storming trees were falling um massive massive amounts of rain and uh we we were glad we left when we did because it could have been bad so We'll see how today goes. Um, hopefully I can get a lot more footage for you today and show you what we've got going on and what we're working on. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I've been sitting here playing with the dredge while I'm waiting for Kevin to show up. This is the uh, version of a three inch pro line that I copied uh, from different models of uh, buddies of mine. So I changed this mat out and made this heavier because I was having it, it was rippling really, really bad in the other one. With the other one it was lighter and i was having a hard time slowing the water down and i also changed the angle of all of these riffles so there's pretty good power right there i've just been sucking off the uh sandbar here just testing it out and i've been loading it pretty heavy just plowing through sand and this is the exchange rate so i might got it running a little bit hot somebody shooting target practice i might have it running a little bit hot but um, I'm glad to see that the riffles aren't loading, they're exchanging, and they're clearing, even with me hogging through a bunch of stuff. And it's basically just sand to find gravel. So that I'm a lot happier with. Um, this place is packed with black sand and garnets. And uh, both will clog your mats up pretty daggone fast. So um, punch plate under there. And I actually made the wave plate a little bit bigger than the stop pro line um, and actually you can see i made it sort of a jar reversal in the front to try to slow the water speed down some 
because it was just flying through here before. And yeah, the mats actually even up front look a lot better. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but those are actually not loading like they were before. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how this does today. And uh, hopefully we find some gold. I know there's some decent gold in here. We just gotta get on it. Good Lord, don't pass me. Somewhere in there ought to be alright. That's about where we were. Plenty of big rock. I think there's going to be a lot of throwing rocks too. A lot of throwing rocks. The big stuff, you know. Yeah, except Josh ain't here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> see if I can not lose my gloves up the nozzle today. What's that? I saw, see if I can buy, keep these gloves on my hand and not suck through the nozzle. They're a little bit tight. Like yeah. So I'm hoping they'll stay on my hands better. That's a pretty good little hole right here, but I ain't gonna go much deeper than what I have. Not without assistance. Big rocks. Huh? Big rock. Ah! Ooh. What's wrong? Just hit my balls <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> oh. The rocks ain't big. I'm just that deep. Oh. At least we can see today. Let me go move that. I'm gonna cover that up first. First rock I throw. Ow. Well, she's sucking good, that's for sure. <laughs> my nozzle's sucking good, but took my fingers off that time. That jade, ain't it? I don't know. Dan Hurd's channel, you know. Learning. I'll have that coat, there'll be about a thousand dollars. <laughs> right. you know, with <laughs> yeah. You want to come on over this way? I got a hole right now. We're going to probably need a pretty good size one, if I had to guess. Pretty good size hole. It only took me about five minutes to dig that one. That way we can go down without stuff falling in on us. Oh my lord. That's why you gotta have a big hole. Huh? That's why you gotta have a big hole. Yeah, I don't. It's odd. Ancient Indian buckler. <laughs> I don't want none. <laughs> I can tell because it smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Pick one of these up and just see one little speck of gold. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. I want to put that on my pants. Oh, that one went through or not? I guess it went through. There's a big ass rock I wasn't expecting. Went slamming up the nozzle. I want to find something like that. Go home. And I had to build me a mantle. Yeah. Put it on. If I have a mantle, like I can build a fire brace. <laughs> Otherwise, the mantle just looks stupid. <laughs> they, they call that a shelf. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me sound stupid, stupid for a while. You I wasn't sure where you were going with it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how stupid, stupid you were going to go. I just wanted to see, I wanted to see what level of stupid that you could get to. Uh, everybody's got levels. <laughs> a rock came 
ain't in my box. Oh God, that's pretty good size hole too. running a snorkel and reaching whatever I can with the snorkel uh, plus my arms and uh, this is Kevin's first time diving with his compressor or uh, with his drag so a little bit of learning curve there for him but he's getting it so yeah we're gonna keep plugging along and see if we can find some gold put some gold in the box
I say this creek is loaded with garnets. That is a big pan of garnets. This is just some of them. Here's the, the bigger, chunkier stuff that I pulled out. For some reason I save them for my wife. I don't know. And how about lead? This is just the part that I've taken out in the last couple, two trips. A couple hours of the dredging. And uh, the other boys have about the same amount. So. People say that, you know, dredging's hard on the creek, or it's bad for the creek, or whatever. We're the ones pulling out lead like this. And I've seen pounds of lead coming out of creeks. So, we're definitely not hurting the creek, we are cleaning the creeks. Alright, for those of you who have never seen a miller table run, all I'm doing is putting a little teeny bit of concentrates, and these are super concentrates, on the table. A little line. No, not that kind of line. And if there's any gold in here, it'll show up pretty fast. Alright. I don't know if you can get to see it for the right there. The gold just sits there. And everything else moves away from it. There's another one. But uh yeah, pretty slick deal for cleaning up gold concentrates especially with a ton of black tans like this creek's got um pretty much a lifesaver another light angle is bad but i needed to see the gold so yeah let me know uh, in the comments if you run a miller table do you brush it through the hole or do you do like i do and just suck it right off the table with your snuffle bottle I find I hate chasing the gold around with the brush trying to get into the hole. So, let me know what you think. Alright, so we're back at home and uh, doing some editing, trying to get this video taken care of and realized I never shot an uh, outro to the video. So, here we are at home. Um, so, we didn't kill it on this trip or the one prior. At least I didn't. Um, I'm still trying to get the bugs worked out of my sluice box. I'm not happy with it. Uh, the way it's running um, we know there's gold in the creek I've seen it and uh, the possibilities are there it's a huge creek we've got miles that we can go on this creek so big creek it's a lot of ground to cover and a lot of ground to, uh, to prospect so uh, we're gonna have to do some a lot of testing and try to narrow things down a little bit better uh, we've got a plan for next trip and uh, I think it's gonna be at least a couple days 
Um, trying to do this on a one day trip run up and back is pretty hard to do. So, so the point uh, one one grams is not a lot of gold. I mean, that's just barely scratching the surface. Um, but, you know, we know it's there and uh, it's got good possibilities. So we're going to keep at it. Um, yeah, it was a good trip. It's a great time hanging out with those two. Um, unfortunately, Josh couldn't make it for the second trip out. And, uh, you know, he just missed out. Did good to go next time. But, um, yeah, we're going to keep hitting at it and uh, narrow this stuff down. And we're constantly looking for new creeks and properties to uh, prospect on. So, if you got anything in Central Virginia, you know, got a creek on it, hit me up. Like to come check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share it for me. And uh, help me try to grow the channel a little bit. Uh, constantly working to, uh, to make videos, but I find it very difficult to put out a video that I don't think is worth a video. Um, even though it's been a little bit of time since I've posted a video, I am going out prospecting. I am uh, shooting uh, footage, but it's hard for me to put out a crap video, so I'm working on it. I'm working on it hard, guys, and we're going to keep at it, and a uh, little bit more help, you know, with uh, Kevin and Josh coming along makes things a lot easier, so uh, hopefully things will improve, and uh, we can start knocking some good videos out, and uh, yeah, giving you something, something good to watch. Alright, thanks guys.